Hey gang, Duvall here with an all new review for ToyWorldOrder.com. Now I own a few Transformer Masterpiece figures, but for the most part, they've all been the Hasbro releases. So when my buddy Don Blanco asked if I wanted to review one of his latest Masterpiece purchases for the site, I jumped at the chance. And so today I give you a look at the Takara release of Masterpiece Alert, better known to us here in the States as Red Alert. Now the box for Alert was surprisingly small. I've been used to rather larger Masterpiece figures so far, so this was a new one for me. Now the front of the box features a great shot of the figure in both robot and alt mode, the Lamborghini logo, and of course the Transformers Masterpiece logo and a bunch of kanji that I don't know how to read. Now the back features some more pictures of the figure and his accessories, a bunch more of kanji, and some shots of him with Optimus Prime in robot mode for scale, as well as showing that these Masterpiece cars can fit into the trailer for Masterpiece Optimus. Very cool. Okay, let's open this box up and see what's inside. The figure is actually in his alt mode right out of the box, so let's take a look at the details on the Lamborghini Countach model. Now, the paint details here are well done and are spot on when comparing them to the vintage Red Alert figure. Now, the smaller details here, such as headlights, taillights, and the Lamborghini markings are all well executed. Alright, let's transform him from car to robot. First, the front tires rotate down and under the body. Then, you swing the doors out. Next, the hood folds down. Next, you fold the arms up here so they're pointing towards where the hood was just moments ago. And then you separate the spoiler, each side folding up. The whole top of the car lifts up from the body and then swings up, while his feet, which were hiding inside the car, fold down. Now you separate the bottom of the car, creating his legs. Next, near the rear tires, a section directly above them swings down and then the entire back tire housing and spoiler swing back. Then the tail light section folds down. Now the legs themselves then unfold and the feet are brought around to position while a small red piece swings out and back from inside the foot which creates a stabilizing point for the robot's feet. Next, around on the front of the bot, the upper legs have a small door that opens out. Which then allows you to fold these pieces down towards the foot. They lock into place, helping form the robot's lower legs. Next, you swing a section down at his crotch. and then you simply fold the upper body down, locking it into place. Now this takes a bit of finagling, but once the chest is locked into place via a couple of well-placed tabs, he is almost complete. Now to finalize the transformation, you swing the head up, the arms fold out and down at the shoulder, And then you simply open up the forearms, flip the hands out, and close the forearms back up. While on his back, the top of the car doors fold in underneath the car roof, and the back section pushes into the body. Now, this is actually one of the simplest to transform Masterpiece figures, in my humble opinion.
Uh, while he transforms much different than his little G1 counterpart here, the overall look and outcome is pretty much the same. In robot mode, he is really, really cool to look at, and I've always loved the G1 designs and characters, and this figure just brings a smile to my face. Now, one thing to point out here, unlike the G1 figure, the car's front tires don't actually make up his shoulders, since they're folded up neatly under the hood. Takara designed some uh, faux tires here to decorate the shoulders, and they do look a bit silly as they're much smaller than the tires still obviously visible at his feet, but it was a cool touch to keep the G1-inspired bot mode intact. Oh, he has some awesome articulation, and you can really get him into some great poses. Alert comes with a few accessories. He's packaged with a collector card, as well as his classic handgun and shoulder-mounted missile launcher. Now, the rifle can fit into either hand very easily. But the missile launcher here can be attached to either shoulder. It takes a bit of work to get them to stay connected, as they like to pop back out of the hole. And in vehicle mode, of course, his launcher and gun can be connected together. And then attached at the top of the police light bar, creating a rescue vehicle with some serious firepower. He's also packaged with a blue spark effect part that attaches to his head, replicating the scene in the Season 2 episode, Auto Berserk, where he suddenly went paranoid. Now, the piece simply snaps onto his head, and then you can recreate some in-agony poses, well, like this one. Yeah, I, I had too much fun sometimes. Now, I have to say I'm a fan of these car masterpiece figures to date. I love the size differences here as compared to Masterpiece Grimlock, and the original Hasbro release of Masterpiece Optimus, who, in both modes, Robot and Truck, seem just a bit out of scale here. Now, this is a great figure to grab if you're a fan. While most online retailers are sold out, I found him at a really great price over at RobotKingdom.com. So I picked mine up for $89.99 plus shipping, so make sure you check them out as they really have some great prices on a lot of Transformer merchandise. And while unfortunately he is sold out at that price on RobotKingdom.com, you never know, they may get a restock at that price point, and he is too hard to pass up for that amount. A special thanks to my friend Don Blanco for supplying the figure used in this review. And until next time, gang, keep playing with your toys.